So I want to give you a few tips on how to pray for your spouse or your future spouse if you're hoping to get married and you're not right now. First, pray that they are completely devoted to Jesus. Why? Because it's the greatest commandment that we should love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our strength, and with all our mind. And so really the best thing for everybody is for your spouse or future spouse to be totally sold out, in love, simply responding to Jesus. So that's the first thing. Second, pray that they would become the healthiest version of themselves. Not only should we love God, but we have to learn how to deal with our past, our own habits, our own struggles, our own failings. How do we become emotionally healthy? How do we become physically healthy? How do we become healthy in all these different areas? How do we find purposeful work? So praying that your spouse would become not only in love with Jesus more than they've ever been, but the healthiest version of themselves, this is also the best thing for them, for you, and for everybody else. And then third and finally, pray that they would choose to be a pass-through of God's love for you as their spouse, maybe future kids, neighbors, coworkers, family, whatever it is. I believe that one of the things that God is always working on in all of our lives as he's transforming us is that his love would reach us and transform us and then it would also flow through us. That's why Jesus said, for the person who believes in me, as the scriptures have testified, out of their hearts will flow rivers of living water. Speaking of the work of the Spirit and all the fruit of the Spirit, the gifts of the Spirit running through our lives. So you wanna pray for your spouse or future spouse? I just gave you a framework. Let's get at it. Let's be people of prayer. God bless you.